Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video I have some more exciting Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War news that you guys don't want to miss out on. But before we do begin today's video, make sure you guys are going down below and smashing that subscribe button. Make sure you guys are hitting a like as well. But in today's video, I'm going to be discussing some amazing news that we did receive just today. Regarding Cold War, we're so close to the release, it's going to be releasing this Friday the 13th. I can't wait, it's going to be absolutely incredible. But we've just been told there is only 8 maps at launch throughout the whole game that we know of right now and this is probably going to be you know what we're going to get and we've got armada cartel checkmate crossroads garrison miami moscow and satellite so we've already seen cartel miami moscow satellite crossroads and armada so out of the eight maps that we do have at launch only two of them are maps we haven't seen before and for me this is very, very disappointing. I was really hoping they was going to do the similar, similar type thing to what they did in Black Ops 4, where they bring back a lot of the classic maps, like a couple, just two or three, just to spice things up a bit, you know, have a little bit of nostalgia in the game, but, you know, have the old map with the, you know, new graphics and the new guns and the new engine. Uh, I feel like it was going to be really, really insane, and it's very, very, you know, disappointing to say the least. I'm, I'm really, really, I'm upset with, with that. But let's not focus on the bad news, let's focus on the good news, only good news for the rest of this video, I promise you guys that we have some interesting camo challenges and general challenges in the game which are set to return. Starting off with the challenges, we have the return of Dark Ops. If you don't know what Dark Ops is, it's been in Black Ops ever since Black Ops 3 I do believe. And basically the challenges uh, that are secret challenges, so you don't actually know what the challenges are, you just unlock them randomly. Uh, and they, they provide some really really cool calling cards, emblems. Dark Matter is always a Dark Ops challenge, you know, the secret camo, uh, if you will. Um, so that is something really, really good to look out for. We do have, obviously, the 100 percenter again, where you can max out every single challenge. We didn't see this in Modern Warfare. The challenges in that game was pretty awful, to be fair. You had to activate a certain amount of challenges you wanted to do. It was something I didn't really do, to be honest. I, I kind of forgot challenges were even part of, you know, Call of Duty as a whole this year. Which, you know, it wasn't too bad, but I did kind of miss them. Uh, you know, in the long run of things. Uh, as you can see on your screen right now, we have a list, a long list, lots of camos this time, this year round again. Of the zombie camos that we are going to be receiving in the game, there's some very, very cool looking ones. Uh, me personally, I don't know whether I'll unlock, you know, many of these. I don't really play that much zombies. I'm not, you know, I do enjoy zombies, but I'm not a huge, huge zombies uh, fan. But yeah, there is some very, very interesting ones there to look out for if you are a Zombies fan. You have uh, some kind of bad news. Sorry, guys, I did uh, say there was going to be no more bad news, but there is some bad news. We have uh, a load of score streaks have been removed from the full game. Uh, we had 20 plus score streaks uh, coming into this game that we knew of. Uh, we didn't see them all in the beta. But there was uh, leaked later on after the beta that there was going to be 20 plus streaks. And you, I forget what all the streaks were anyway. There was an Orbital Vsat. It wasn't called an Orbital Vsat. It was called something else. Uh, or the Hater. Or it was called something It was something different. But you know what I mean. The Advanced UAV. You know, the UAV with arrows that don't swipe. You know what I mean. That has been removed. That is a really, really big loss for me. Uh, I, I mean, I've seen a couple of people thinking they're going to add them later on uh, in the game's life cycle. I, me personally, I can't see this being a thing. Uh, why would that be a thing? You know, adding kill streaks halfway through. I just can't see them doing it. Yeah, it would be really cool to be fair and keep things a bit spicy. Uh, but I just can't, you know, personally see that being a possibility at all. Which is a huge shame. It's going to make, you know, streaks and nuke streaks ten times harder without the orbital visa. But it is what it is. Who knows, maybe I'm wrong, I hope I'm wrong, and they do add it halfway through. Uh, as you can see on your screen now, going back to, you know, the barracks challenges and the dark ops challenges, you can see sort of the, you know, what they're going to look like in-game. Very, very cool. We do have, as always, uh, how many is there? So there's 3, 6, 9, 12. I'm doing a little quick math. 13 dark ops challenges to unlock, which is insane. Uh, and as you can see on your screen right now as well, we have the long list, and I mean a long list, this isn't even all the camos, apparently. Apparently there's more than this. Uh, of the camos, uh, on the FAMAS or the FFR, which it was called in Modern Warfare as well, it's called that in this game. But it is the FAMAS, it is a fully automatic weapon this year, this time around this year. Uh, and it seems to be we have a list of, um, a long list with around 5 camos in each, uh, you know, section. It's going to be interesting to see how we unlock these. Uh, speaking of camos as well. Uh, I really, really want to grind this game out from the very beginning and be one of the first people to get the gold camo, the diamond camo, and the dark matter camo this year. That is literally my number one goal. Usually I'm focused on ranking up and getting a really high rank, but this year, 
I'm solely focusing on challenges. I want to be one of the first people to get these max challenges, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, that's what I'm grinding for as soon as the game does drop the challenge, uh, the camos, so many camos, so hopefully not too difficult to unlock, we will see. But yeah, that's pretty much it in terms of uh, news. Uh, very, very interesting stuff, especially with the camos. It was nice to see, you know, what camos are going to be coming to the game. Some of them look really cool. We have the return of Cherry Blossom from Black Ops 2. It was a fan favourite back in that game. I really enjoyed it in that game. It's back this year round, so that's really, really, really nice to see. I really hope the diamond camo is super nice. Uh, the last couple of diamond camos we've had have just not been nice at all. The Black Ops 2 diamond camo is still the best for me. Uh, Dark Matter, I hope it's really, really cool again as well. Uh, I do prefer the Black Ops 3 Dark Matter over the Black Ops 4. That's me personally. So it would be interesting to see if we get any reactive camos as well. But I would love to see know what you guys think of the camos and all the other challenges and you know if you're looking forward to Cold War again. Uh, but unfortunately guys this is going to be the end of the video so make sure you guys are going down below and smashing that like button if you didn't enjoy this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button as well for more daily Call of Duty content, news, tips and tricks, all that good stuff. Make sure you do smash that subscribe button. But apart from that guys follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter. Thank you guys ever so much for watching. I hope to catch you guys in the next one. Peace.